In this video, I take a look at binary bits and the place values they take up in a binary pattern. And I also introduce you to the notion of a range. And this will continue in the next video. Consider four flip-flops grouped together, capable of storing a nibble. If we look at this position here, it has a place value of 1. So if a 1 was to appear in there, it would have the value of 1. If 0 appeared in there, then obviously it would have no value because it's 0. If I move on and look at this one, it has a place value of 2. This one here has a place value of 4. And this one has a place value of 8. If a 1 appeared in there, its value, when we considered it as a number, would have the value of 8. Let's add the place values to the top of these flip-flops, as you can see here. Let's now place a nibble into these flip-flops, as you can see with this example. Now, I can see straight away that that nibble has the value in our number system of 2. And the reason for that, if we look here, we have a 1 in the place value of 2. So we write the 2 here. And of course, I can show that as equaling 2. Let's consider another example as shown here. And if I now were to consider what this is in our number system, I can tell straight away it's 6. And the reason for that is if you look here, 1 is in the 2 position. So I'll write a 2 here. And there's also a 1 in the 4 position. So I'll write 4 there. And then we add these two up. And of course, the answer is 6. Now, there is no 8 value and there is no unit value because you can see in both cases, there is a 0 there. So I do not write down the value of 8 and the value of 1. So let's now have a look at another example as illustrated here. And I know this is 9. And the reason for that is if I look here, there's a 1 in the unit position, a 1 in the 1 position. So I write that down here. There's a 0 in the 2 and the 4, so I don't bother writing the 4 and the 2 down. But I can see here there's a 1 in the 8 position, so I write that down. And of course you add those together and you get the result of 9. Let's consider another example. And in this case you can see there is a 1 in every position. So the value of this I know to be 15. And that's because you take the 1 and you write that down. You go to the 2's position, you can see there's a 1 in that, so you write the 2 down. There's a 1 in the 4's position, so you write a 4 down. And there's a 1 in the 8 position, so you write an 8 down. And then you add all of these up. And of course, when you add them up, you will find that you have the value of 15. Let's now consider a byte. And you can see I've got 8 flip-flops all together. And I've put a 0 in every flip-flop. And now if we consider the position values of this, we start off with a 1, and we can see it goes 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. And if you look at these place values, you can see you start off with a 1, you go to 2, which is double the 1, you go to 4, which is double the 2, you go to 8, which is double the 4, you go to 16, which is double the 8, and you carry on doubling, as you can see here, 32, you double to 64, and then you double to 128. Now, for this byte, we can see there's a zero in every position. Consequently, this byte will represent in our number system the value of zero. Let's consider another example, as shown here. And let's put the place values above, as you can see now. And you can see they double from 1 to 128. And we need to consider all of the positions where a 1 exists. So we can see there's a 1 here in the 2's value. So we write that down. There's a 1 here in the 16 position. We write that down. And there's a 1 here in the 64 position. So we write that down. We don't write anything else down because you can see in all the other positions, there's a 0 present. Of course, we now add these three together and 64 plus 16 plus 2, when you add them together, gives you the value of 82. 
So the binary number shown in these flip-flops in our number system has the value of 82. Let's consider another example as shown here. You can see I've got eight flip-flops and in each flip-flop there is a one. So I have a byte where all the bits in the byte are one. And of course we need to remember what the place values are for all of these flip-flops and I'm showing them here. Of course what you're looking at here is something that you would typically see inside a central processing unit, a register. And you can see this register is full of ones in every position. Now, what's the value of this in our number system? And by our number system that I refer to throughout this video is a number system we're used to using every day. And that's the Deanery number system, often called the decimal number system. So what is it for this? Now, I happen to know that it's 255. And the way in which you would work that out would be as follows. You go to each of them where there's a 1 and you write down their position value. So this would be a 1. This one is in the position of 2. So you would write that down to give 2. This one is in the position of 4. So you write that down. And we carry on writing every position down because we've got a 1 in every position. So this one here, there's a 1 in the 16 position, so that goes down. There's a 1 in the 32 position, so we write that down. There's a 1 in the 64 position, so we write that down. And finally, there's a 1 in the 128 position, so we write down 128. And of course, what we now do, we add all of these together. And when you add them all together, you will find out that it's 255. Let's consider the smallest value we can have in a byte, and it's shown here. That's where every position is a zero, and we know that to be a zero. And of course, now we can carry on and show many other different combinations in this byte. And we looked at one earlier where the value was 82. But what's the biggest value we can store in a byte? Well, that's shown here, where everything is a one. And we've just shown that that gives us 255. Now, what we're looking at here is the range of values we can have in a byte. And the range we can see goes from 0 to 255. Now, in the previous video, we looked at how many different binary patterns we can have in the byte. What's the number of possible bit combinations that are possible in an 8-bit register or in an 8-bit binary pattern? Or we could simply say a byte register or what's the number of possible combinations in a byte? And we worked out that we found that it was 256. You take 2 and you raise it to the number of bits and of course the number of bits are 8 and 2 to the power of 8 is 256. So when we are talking about binary patterns, and in this case we're looking at a byte, 8 bits, we can talk about the range of values that you could have stored within 8 flip-flop, and also the number of different combination of bits that you can have. And you can see that the range goes from 0 to 255, have a look at the 255 and you can see that is one less than the number of combinations which you can see is 256. Now the reason for that is straightforward. It's because you start off at zero. So it doesn't go from zero to 256. You can see it goes from zero to 255 which is one less than the 256. To emphasize the difference between a range and combinations when we're dealing with bits within a computer, have a go at this exercise, which is asking, what is the range and number of binary combinations for a nibble? Pause the video and have a go, and now I'll cover the answer. Well, the first thing we need to do is to look at what's the smallest value you can expect in a nibble, and it's shown here, where every position of the nibble has the value of zero. Consequently, this will have in our number system the value of zero. The biggest number we can expect in a nibble is shown here, where every position is a one. And we showed earlier in this video that this gives us a value of 15. Consequently, the range for this is from zero to 15. 
What about the number of combinations? Well, we know in this case, we take 2 and we raise it to the number of bits, which in this case is 4. So we can see that the combinations, we're using 2 to the n, where n has got the value of 4, because there are 4 bits, and 2 to the 4 is equal to 16. So we can see for a nibble, the range is from 0 to 15, and the number of combinations is 16. And we can see that the top of the range is 15, which is one less than the number of combinations. And the reason it's one less is because we start off here at 0, we don't start off at 1. So from 0 to 15 means there are 16 different combinations. So we always will find that the range here will be one less than the number of combinations, as you can see here. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.